right here we're going to turn this voltage up from 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 volts. So now we're running at 12 volts and we're running now amperage wise at just about nine and a half amps. Now let's go back up here and take a look at our air gas flow meter and see what's going on now. As you can see with more current and more power okay being put to the unit it's oscillating between zero and two quite regularly. So that'll give you some idea. And this is the smallest unit we have for vehicle operations, which is called a Minigen Series 9. Now at 10 amps right now, 9.5 amps, it's not running very hot. In fact, we'll go down here, and this is what we have for measuring our temperature. It's an infrared unit used for measuring and we'll take that and we'll put it on the outbound gas fitting on the gen and you'll be able to actually see the temperature so we'll go down here now and we'll aim it and we'll put it on the temperature and hopefully you'll be able to see that right now this gen's been running close to three hours and the temperature on the outbound gas is at 101 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I go over the top, well, you won't be able to see the red dot because it's infrared. The camera won't pick it up. But we are running right now, like I say, if I can get the light on it just the right way, we're running, you know, 102, 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go over with the bubbler getting the gas for the last, oh, two hours or so, three hours. Let's go to the bubbler and hit it and see if we can get a temperature off of it. And here we are, the bubbler is only at 62 degrees. So the gas does cool off and of course the gas is dry because as you can see, there isn't any condensate in the lines at all. But there we are right now. Ah, you can see the little red light there. You can see it. That's the infrared light. And that hose going in is at 64 degrees. And we'll come on up here. We'll hit the bubbler. Is it 62? And we're still at 62 in the bubbler. We'll go to the other side of the bubbler. And... We're at 61, and let's go right into the unit itself, and that's at 59 to 60 degrees. And now we'll go back over here, and go back to the actual case of the unit itself, and see if we can get a temperature. And the unit, the stainless steel case, right now is 78 to 82 degrees. It's modulating back and forth. And then back up to the outbound gas, we're at 109. So you can see there's a big gas drop right there, all right, between the generator and when it gets out there. And of course it is going through the bubbler, which is allowing it to scrub the KOH that may be in there. And we are still oscillating, okay, at a pretty good rate here for a little unit, a it's doing, you know, from 0 to 2 liters in a steady pulsing manner, and that's at 12 volts and 10 amps. Now, what we'll do is we'll take and we'll back it down a little bit again, and we'll move down our amperage and our voltage again, and we'll take that back down voltage-wise. We're at 12 volts. We'll back that back down again to 6 volts and we'll check our amperage and we're back again to about 4 amps and as you can see directly at ratio or proportional you can see the gas output slows down as you can see it right there still going from 0 to 2 liters a minute but it's pulsing so that'll give you some idea what this little tiny HHO generator can do and this, of course, is used on a 1.2 liter to, oh, about a 3.0 liter engine.
but it does the trick and that's all that matters. I hope this video was informative and I hope you learned a little something from it. So in the meantime we'll let you go and we'll make some more videos of our other different models and the gas outputs uh, as we go along. Other than that, thank you much, have a good day, take care, and bye-bye.